We're continuing with the cardiovascular system, and now we're getting into probably what you think of more as the cardiovascular system. So this week's the heart. Um, remember the three components of the cardiovascular system are going to be our heart, which is the pump, a muscular pump, the blood vessels, which are all three of these here. Um, might as well break them down actually now. Here's our capillaries. Here in red is our arteries, often depicted in red, meaning oxygenated. Blue would depict deoxygenated, um, which are typically veins. We will see an exception to that um, as we get into this. Altogether, these are our blood vessels. And then blood, right, was the, what we talked about last week, that third component of the cardiovascular system. Overall function of the system is to transport gases, really transport overall, right, transport of so many things. CO2, carbon dioxide, um, CO2 is carbon dioxide, oxygen, glucose, other nutrients, wastes, heat, hormones, etc. In order to do this, we have to maintain blood pressure, and that is done by both the heart and the blood vessels. And we also have to maintain fluid volume, which is neuroendocrine regulated, but also even like last week, we talked about um, blood clotting and the form formation of a coagulation. That's part of maintaining fluid volume as well. So that's where blood really, you can see its role in this as well. Of course, also being the thing that transports. Okay, so that should be mostly a review. And now we are, so this week we're going to dive into the heart. Um, we're gonna start with heart anatomy, whole lot of heart anatomy and um, function of the muscle cells themselves. So the cardiac muscle that makes up heart tissue. Next week, we will go into more regulation type stuff. So changes in pressure and volume and then um, neuro and endocrine regulation of heart rate and all that fun stuff. So we got two weeks on the heart, then two weeks on blood vessels and blood pressure regulation. So I will start next video with some basic anatomy of the heart.